Hey there, Postal here. So today we're taking out the FW190D. So this is uh, well affectionately called the Dora. It's a tier seven German multi-role fighter. Um, I absolutely love this friggin' plane. Um, I liked it before I really liked the tier five and tier six before it. Um, and I think that was more, there was more to do with me. I really like the tier 5 and tier 6 now, um, but I always liked this plane. I think just going through the tier 5 and tier 6 um, you know, finally got me able to play this type of plane style properly. So what is this plane? Uh, well this is on the tech line that gets you to the bat wing. Um, it will, you know, it's just a completely different kind of multi-role at that point. Tier 5, 6, and 7, though, is, is what I like to think of as a true multi-role. And actually, these are a little bit more like pocket heavies. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a quick look at the amount of firepower we're about to put out here. You have two 30mm cannons. Goodbye. You have two 20mm cannons. And then you have two 13mm machine guns. And the 30 millimeter cannons are out on the wings, so they can be a little, um, we'll say, wonky. We've got a, um, a GA coming inbound here, but I just noticed there's some bombers, so let's go ahead and use our airspeed. The FW190 it actually has pretty good altitude performance for a multi roll. Pretty good speed for a multi roll. Um, I think it might actually be the fastest and, and highest um, altitude performing in tier 7. I could be wrong, it's pretty close. Anyway, in these kind of situations, if I know that I can get up high, um, I go up high first, because it's always easy to get down low. It can be difficult to get up high, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can't knock out this bomber. Let's let our, uh, dang, even our 20 millimeter cannon is overheated there. So let everything cool down. We're not in any kind of uh, rush. We've got nothing uh, coming after us immediately. Unfortunately, our light fighter is over there going for that frickin' GA. It's like, well, that's kind of a waste of energy. But, you know, say la vie. So we've still got our two rockets. Let's drop them. Excellent. You got a pretty darn good bomb on here as well. I don't typically use the rockets all that much. There's only two of them. They're not overly strong. They're there for, like, supplemental damage. The bomb does a decent amount of work. And so I do try to drop the bomb as often as possible. And now we're doing pretty well so far. Let's see what we can do here. Kind of a cluster in the center here. In a plane like this, you don't necessarily want to get into a cluster. So we need to make sure that we're getting some good hits very quickly. Uh, I probably should have gone for the guy behind this guy. If I remember correctly, I think I just set myself up for death. Yep, I did. Darn it. So in that kind of situation, what you want to do is go for the plane at the rear. I went for the plane I went for because it was the human. Um, but the fact of the matter is I should have gone for the guy at the end of the line. You kind of think of it like as a, as a line of troops going through the forest. If they're in a single line, you take out the guy at the end and then work your way forward. You take somebody in the middle or the front out first, you're going to have a bunch of people... Um, recognizing that there's a bad situation and usually taking you out. It's not 100% um, in every situation like that, but for the majority, you'll want to do that. All right, so fortunately, our cannons kind of failed us there in the last interaction, so let's see if we can turn it around. We've got a line going this way. Uh, come on, cannons. There we go. This, this can be the most frustrating thing about the FW-190 is the 30 millimeter cannons. It is certainly the thing that I hear from most people when they say that they don't like the FW-190 or it's not their favorite, is the 30 millimeter cannons don't perform in a manner that they want them to. Um, and it's just kind of the thing with the mid-tier 30 millimeter cannons. If there's a 30 millimeter cannons on a 6 m 5 or the Key 84, the FW-190D here. They're all on the wings. They're all wonky. 
They're going to go where they want to go. The key is to focus on planes that um, you don't necessarily have to track, if that makes sense. So these, these guns are very, very good against bombers, as you've seen. GAs as well. Heavies, for sure. The FW-190D is really a pocket heavy. And actually, the, the FWs before it kind of are, too, to a little bit of a lesser extent. Um, but do not go head-on versus a full health FW-190D. It's not going to end out good for you. Um, there's just too many people over at that airbase, and I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the kind of plane that can take all that friggin' swarm of planes on. Um, and so we're going to kind of meander this way, see what kind of damage we can do, pull them towards us, get them in a group so that I can't be the only plane that they're focused on. You'll notice there, uh, what I tend to do, um, when a plane's coming across my, my line of sight there, I know I'm not going to be able to stick with them. I still fire my cannons a little early just so I can make sure I'm at least getting a couple hits. Sometimes you can get really good hits, sometimes you can get a kill, sometimes you can just knock out wings and stuff like that. Um, but it's, it's always helpful. Every little bit of damage that you can add on certainly helps. You can see what these guns can do. I mean, that mosquito didn't have a chance, right? All right, we've got a lot of planes inbound here. We're up three sectors to two. Oh, now we're up four sectors to one. So we're actually not in a huge rush to even cap that one sector. Um, we want to kind of milk the personal point cow, so to speak. Let's go ahead and see if we can take out this GA, which we can. Fortunately, got my pilot knocked out. It looks like he's back in. We're being tracked by somebody. Can't get turned around quick enough. Aha! It's me! Get our turn on here. My my Dora is not specialized, so I do not have a airframe um, consumable slot. I would definitely take pneumatic control assist to help out in this situation. So right now we're just kind of hanging in the middle. Um, we've set ourselves up for the win by getting that military base as early as we did. And right now... We're just going to take the steps to, to holding on to this win. We're in a pretty decent lead. Losing the, our military base could certainly turn things around. Don't know if I was noticing that when I was playing the battle. We'll see. Looks like I'm just going to kind of be defending this area here. Yeah, and they, they lost the plane that was attacking the command center anyway. So we've got a pretty comfortable lead here. I don't want to die, but even if we die, I'm pretty confident that we're going to win the battle at this point. Um, they just are not paying attention. Like, if these planes were paying attention to me, I'd be in a lot more trouble. I'd be relying on my 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter cannons to take them out as quickly as possible. But the fact that they just kind of ignored me allowed me to be more patient with my um, uh, my attack. And you know, kind of tap, tap, tap to get the to get the kill there. If I can get this bomber, I can get a Kozadub. Uh, I guess not. I'm not going to be able to stick with that uh, that dough. So let's see what we've got coming inbound here. Looks like we had a decent amount over at that garrison. Ah, not air supremacy. We're not going to be able to get this guy, are we? Oh, you son of a... Come on. Come on. Come on. You flippin' bummer! <sighs> Alright. But you can see the strength of this plane. I absolutely love it. Um, let's go ahead and head on back. Alright, so I absolutely love this freaking airplane. And it's been getting a lot of flack, no pun intended, uh, on my Discord. And I said, you know what? Maybe, maybe I can try to give it some love. Um... Why is this plane, why do I like this plane so much? Why? Honestly, because it is, it's one of those planes in the game that's a real multi-role. Yeah, it's not a fighter, it's not a BVP, it's not a, a Jawa, a J7W. It's an actual multi-role. Uh, you know, the arguments can be made that, um, you know, the, the, the ground ordinance is not all that good. Well, I mean, the bomb's not the strongest thing in the world, but it reloads pretty quickly. A minute and a half, not too shabby. 
and you've got rockets as well. So you got a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, so you know, overall you're gonna be able to do about 8,000 damage. Not over the top, but again, just enough to be able to do what you wanted to do. Enough to flip a sector, basically. Kill uh, planes with your guns, a little bit extra, a little dab will do you when it comes to the bombs and rockets. Your guns are really, really, really strong. Incredibly strong. The thing that, that throws people off is that they are kind of oddly placed. You have two 20s, two 13mm machine guns, and then two 30mm cannons. The cannons are out on the wing, and so yeah, that can definitely throw you off. But it's not any different than something like a Ki-84. It's not any different than, than a lot of those other planes that might have 30 millimeter cannons out on the wings. Now I know most of them, especially at the high tier, are gonna be centrally located. Um, but them being on the wings is not terrible unless you're trying to go for the manu really maneuverable planes. The way I play the Dora is honestly like a like I would an ME-410. Uh, I play it like I would play a heavy fighter. I go for bombers, I go for GAs, I go for other heavy aircraft. And then I kind of boom and zoom a little bit versus uh, multi-rolls if I can't stick with them. Uh, but although, to be honest, most bot multi-rolls you'll be able to stick with, even if they're Corsairs or, or Yaks. Um, just because they don't tend to dogfight like that. Um, you get a good couple hits in on them, you're going to knock out tails, knock out wings, and then you can actually stick with them. Uh, the things I definitely don't ever stick with, really, are going to be fighters, light fighters. Um, they just turn too tight. And so what you want to do in those kind of situations is Get some, get some good shots in on them and just keep on keeping on. You've got a decent amount of airspeed with this plane. You've got a decent amount of boost. I've even got mine reduced a little bit. It's down to, to 18 seconds. I believe it would be at 20 seconds with, um, with no uh, equipment modifications on here. And I only have a four point pilot. So keep in mind my pilot only has Engine Guru 1 and Marksman 1 on this plane. You definitely want to go all in when it comes to speed on this plane. There's not a whole lot of maneuverability, and even if you buff the maneuverability, you're still not going to be as good as the really maneuverable multi-rolls. So go in for the airspeed on this plane. Once I specialize it, I'm going to get the polished skin. Um, and I don't know what, what uh, forward firing weapon uh, I'm going to be putting on here. I'll have to think about that. I don't think long gun barrels is going to be... I mean, maybe? Like, honestly, with this gun setup, so German planes, because you've got kind of a, a mix of guns it's a mixed bag it's a mix it's a it's a, a mixed blessing really you've always got some sort of gun that's going to be doing something but it means that not all the equipment's going to be positively impacting each of the guns fully if that makes sense so like you might put goa on here uh gas operated action um and that might be the best bet, honestly, but you know it might not be the best for the 30 millimeter cannons. Putting um, you know the reinforced um, what the heck is it called? I can't even think of what it's called right now. You know what I'm talking about though, where it it allows your um, heavy cannons to shoot for longer. Um, doesn't really help the 13 millimeter machine guns. So, and then long gun barrels can can be hit or miss as far as the impact for the range because some of these guns the 20 millimeter cannons go pretty far the 30 millimeter cannons are pretty short so helping the 30 millimeter cannons by a little bit might not necessarily help as much as helping the 20 millimeters by a lot kind of talking in circles here but having a, a mix of guns means that the forward firing equipment um, is just going to have different different levels of impact for these different guns whereas if you just had all 20s we're all 30s, we're all machine guns. You could kind of say, okay, I'm definitely going to go with GOA because it helps 20 millimeter cannons so much, or definitely going to be going with uh, long gun barrels because it's already long range 30s, so let's get them really long. Um, hope that makes sense. Um, consumables, I will still put the wings and tail do not get knocked out on this very often, so I will still put pneumatic control assist on here once I get it specialized. I don't know. So every random once in a while I get the engine knocked out, so I don't know if having an um, engine restart would be best for the consumable, or to just have that additional um, improved mixture control on here as my um, you know big deal, so to speak, 
for my engine and really go overboard when it comes to speed. I'm not sure, but I really, really like this plane. And the focus again needs to be on paying attention to the map, taking down um, planes of opportunity, putting your big guns to use, um, and definitely the 30 millimeter cannons to use. Reloading, paying attention to the bomb, reloading the bomb every once, every chance that you get, um, and going from there. So, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, again, this is just a plane I really, really enjoyed. I really like this whole line. I didn't quite like the early on parts of this multi roll. In fact, tier six, I really didn't like at all until I went back and I bought it, and then I realized, oh, I did like it. I just wasn't playing it correctly. Um, I kept the Dora even after I didn't like the A5. I really, really have liked the Dora that much that um, that's just a plane that I've, I've absolutely uh, quite enjoyed. And then, of course, you get the opportunity to get the, the Batwing Tier 8 and Tier 9, two very beloved uh, planes in the game, um, but not really multi-rolls, like a, a able to do anything to the ground kind of multi-rolls. So. Anywho, I hope this uh, helped a little bit. Uh, which camp are you in? I'm, I'm, I'm not opposed to either of them, right? Obviously, some there's a lot of planes in the game that I don't particularly like, that a lot of other people do like. Um, so if you don't like the Dora, is there a specific reason why? Uh, maybe this opened your eyes to some of the capabilities of the plane. Um, or is it just not your cup of tea? And you were grinding down this line to get to the Batwings, and thank goodness you got the Batwings. Um, if you didn't like this plane, I highly doubt you'll like the TA. 152 after it <sighs> but anyway <laughs> you still got the bat wings to look forward to yeah yeah the door is a good plane good good plane for me uh, for my play style I can't wait to get some more points on my pilot and um, yeah I can't wait to hear uh, your comments down below or feel free to join my discord we can certainly have a discussion there as well thank you so much and I hope you have a great day bye